Hello guys, welcome to PC Worship's YouTube channel once again. Um, we're going to be going over AMD's FM1 socket motherboard. I do apologize, I did say we were going to do one a bit sooner. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't get to it, but today, you know, that's, I'm going to redeem myself. We're going to take a look at ASUS F1A75 V Pro motherboard, okay? Again, this is for the new FM1 socket generation that AMD has decided to release. Uh, this is for the APUs for the A6s, A8s. Uh, let's take a quick look at the front. They, uh, they, it has DG, uh, DGVRM, their EPUs, TPUs, UEFI BIOS. It has a display port, which is nice. Uh, again, this is for the AMD chipset, A75 chipset, AA Vision E2, and it's Windows 7 ready. Now let's take a look at the back here. Uh, we're going to go over just a uh, brief detail. Uh, for your memory, you get four DIMM slots okay, th uh, of DDR3. Your expansion slots, you get two PCIe Express and then two PCIe X1s. You get seven, seven serial ATA, six gigabit per second um, slots, which is very, very nice, especially if you like doing uh, RAID setups. Your LAN, it's gigabit LAN. You get a high definition eight channel and you get a total of 10 capable USB uh, ports. Now your TPU and your EPU, your TPU allows you, there's two settings for your TPU. Uh, for your TPU, you can either automatically maximize the performance of your APU, or you could uh, enable TPU to allow you to manually, you know, overclock and maximize the uh, performance. In EPU mode, uh, it's for your energy efficiency uh, for your uh, setup and your motherboard. UEFI BIOS, so it's a nice UE it has a nice UEI a, a, a user interface. It's very simple. It's very graphic. Uh, lots of shortcuts. So it's very friend easy friendly. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's user friendly. There you go. That's what I was trying to say. Let's go ahead and take a look inside. Okay, so we get your drivers for your motherboard. You could go to Ace's uh, website and download the latest. Uh, you get your Q connectors. You get right angled uh, SATA cables, which is nice, especially if you're doing uh, uh, cable management in your case. You get your nice uh, user's guide, which lets you know where each connector goes. And let's go ahead and take a look at the motherboard itself. All right. Let's go ahead and go over this really quick. MOSFET heatsink, you get your 8 pin connector, CPU power pin connector up top, especially if you're running your power, uh, your cables through the back. As you'll notice this, this same bracket right here, this same bracket right here is used in the AM3 sockets, AM2 sockets, so you can still use your high performance heatsinks uh, on this uh, setup right here on this motherboard. Your FM1 socket for your APU, as you can notice also that there's more, the pins are much closer than your standard AM3. Now, let's go a little bit over the DIMM slots really quick. This motherboard is capable of handling 64 gigabytes of RAM, 16 DDR3. gigs, which is now, four gigabit sticks in each slot. Remember, if you want to do take advantage of the dual channel, you have to only place two uh, uh, sticks on the DIMM slots. You have your CPU fan up here, another chassis fan right here, your 24 pin in its desired location. Um, so here's your, let's go ahead and take a side shot right there. Those are your uh, six gigabit per second saddle ports right there. Let's go ahead and bring it back. This is very nice. It has the USB 3.0 header. Uh, so you can add two more ports with that. Your front panel connectors, you can add two, four, six, eight extra USB ports in the front or the rear, depending on the expansion slot that you get. It has, here's the two X1s that we mentioned before. Now. Remember, for the APUs, the, the, one of the char great characteristics of the APUs is you could use the onboard graphics with a discrete graphics, so that gives you your dual graphics. Now, this board is capable of running Crossfire, so that's two discrete graphics cards at X16 and X4, and then you have three PCI slots for any expansions that you would like. There's your audio connector right there. Let's go ahead and take a look at this side right here. We have one, two, three, four USB 3.0, so that's a total of six USB 3.0s. Your PS2 mouse keyboard combo, your display port, HDMI, SPDF out, DVI, VGA, eSATA, which is also, I believe, a combo. No, it's not. It's 
not a USB combo, just the SATA. Your two USB 2.0s, your gigabit capable LAN RJ45, your uh, high definition 7.1 channel. Let's see anything I missed. Well, your South Bridge right there, you'll notice they don't really have a North Bridge anymore. And uh, oh, that's right, forgot. Your Memo K button. If you ever need to, uh, if your if your computer isn't posting because of your RAM, if you click on the Memo K, it will set your RAM at a working uh, speed frequency that's capable uh, that's capable of running off of the board. And then your TPU and EPU uh, switches. Uh, you have. Let's, see, let's go ahead and go this way. You have one, two, three chassis fans, fan chassis connectors. So you can add three straight to the motherboard. Uh, and that's pr pretty much wraps it up today. Uh, thank you for watching this unboxing of uh, one of AMD's new FM1 socket motherboards. Don't forget to subscribe and visit us at pcwscomputer.com for, uh, for further uh, unboxings and computer reviews. Have a good one, guys.